Victory of Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones and this is a Starfighter TV review. Today I'll be reviewing a show that is one of the most disrespected and overlooked sitcoms in history. A show that has one of the greatest ensemble casts to ever been seen on television. A show that has ultimately been forgotten. Today, I'll be reviewing the 1995 NBC sitcom, News Radio. So what is News Radio? What is this series even about? This sitcom is about a man by the name of Dave Nelson, who starts his new job as news director at WNYX News Radio. With moments after starting his job, he is tasked with firing the old news director, which begins a spiral of office politics and interpersonal relationships amongst his employees. What makes news radio such a distinct comedy is that there's no jokes throughout the series. There's no punchlines, there's no gags. In each episode, you simply watch the staff of WNYX as they interact with each other through different office situations. The writing of news radio plays towards each actor's strength. Some actors are superb at physical comedy and deadpan humor. Seems those yogurt suckers upstairs wanna play hardball. Are you trying to shave your chest? Yes, yes, sir. Now, uh, who's his insurance carrier? We're gonna have to get back to you on that. Are you the boyfriend? <laughs> I'm the employer. Matthew. While other actors are amazing at improv entire scenes. Where's my cane? It was hanging right here. Has anyone seen my cane? I'm talking to you people! <laughs> Now speaking of the actors, let's talk about why this is one of the greatest ensemble cast put together. Each character in news radio is a part of a layered idiosyncrasy with chemistry that is unmatched. So much so to the point where if one of the characters were to leave, the show wouldn't be able to function. The very first character you'll be introduced to is Dave Nelson, who is played by the Canadian actor Dave Foley. And there's really little to distinguish them. It's essentially just a guy trying to preserve some sort of dignity and, and trying to be uh, an authority figure without any of their really, really without a lot of the requisite skills. <laughs> you know, he's like me, looks, looks too young and is a little bit too nervous. What you're talking about? Dave, you do know that I can tell when you're lying, don't you? There's a thing you always do. Oh, really? And what is this thing I always do when I'm lying, huh? Oh, come on, Beth. There's absolutely nothing going on between this is it, isn't it? This is the thing. <laughs> Lisa Miller, who is portrayed by the Golden Globe award-winning actress Mira Tierney, Lisa is an overachieving producer who believes she is more equipped to run the news station than Dave. She's not guarded and she doesn't care so much, you know what I mean? Things hit her and so she'll react, which is sometimes goofy and funny. And also I think that she's sort of can put people in their place. She sort of watches and if somebody's getting a little out of control, I think she sort of can take them down a peg in a funny way, in a nice way. 17% of 4,300. 731. Wow. 27% uh, of 539. 145.5 something. Man. Yeah, I'm a big hit at parties. <laughs> Jimmy James is played by the Emmy nominated actor Stefan Root. Jimmy James is the billionaire owner of WNYX. Even though he's busy with running other multi-million dollar businesses, he always finds time to visit his favorite company. He's a fun guy to play. I think every company has one who uh, he's, he's there, he's the boss, he owns the place, but he, he just doesn't have time to, to deal with all that he has to do. So it's, it's great fun to be able to play a guy who can come in and go, hi, what's everybody doing? Now oh, that's great, I gotta go. And you know, that's the kind of guy Jimmy is. Yeah, no, there you go. Okay, no, say something. Uh-huh. That's better. That's better. That's better. Yeah, that's, that's almost... Uh, that, is, that, is, that is 
perfectly clear. Yeah, that's great. I gotta go. <laughs> Beth, who is Dave's secretary, is played by the actress Vicki Lewis. Beth is sarcastic and her outfits are ridiculously legendary. Even though her character is written to be dry, she is my favorite character in the entire series. Beth strikes me as somebody who's had just a little tiny bit too much therapy. Um, and, um, and, and is a bit of a monomaniac in that um, and sort of get lost in her own haze of, of, uh, of drama. <laughs> Dave, what do you do when you're in a relationship and the sexual heat starts to fade? Gosh, I don't know. Ask my boss about it. Joe is played by comedian and podcaster Joe Rogan. Joe is an electrician, or what he likes to be called, handyman, at WNYX. What makes Joe's character so funny is his nonchalant approach to his profession. Do you know that I have always thought that efficiency was a really interesting um, field of inquiry? <gasps> Matthew Brock is a news reporter who is played by the insanely talented comedian Andy Dick. Andy Dick on this show is pretty much Andy Dick. He's clumsy, he's immature, and he does a lot of physical comedy. A little bit dizzy though. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I think Andy Dick is one of the most naturally funniest comedians that I've ever seen on TV. He is the guy who, like in every office, there's the guy who's very, very, uh, like a little too sensitive about things, a little too emotionally involved in his work. So any kind of unbalance in any, in any way sets him, you know, like is, he can't take it. He either breaks down, he cries, or he, he gets really mad, like, David, you tell me. Catherine Duke is one of WNYX News anchors. She is portrayed by the Emmy-nominated actress Candy Alexander. With being a news anchor, she is also bitter rivals with her co-host, Bill McNeil. Candy throughout the series does a lot of physical comedy. Good, good. We were wondering what the uh, Pacific Ocean was made of. Water. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, is the legendary Saturday Night Live performer and Emmy Award winning actor, Phil Hartman, who plays the character Bill McNeil, who is the heart of the show. Bill is a loud, arrogant, and free-spirited co-anchor of WNYX. Throughout Phil Hartman's career, he has put on some incredible comedic performances, and news radio is by far his greatest work. Rather if it's his physical comedy, one-liners, or him using his dramatic radio voice, it's close to impossible not to laugh at his performance. Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman. I mean, his timing is impeccable. There are times we can't get through the scene because we're just cracking up. And then there are moments, because I'm in the sound booth with him, when I look at him and I'll get a flashback of something he did on Saturday Night Live, and that's it, I just, I lose it. Wake up, Manhattan. Wake up, Brooklyn. Wake up, the other three boroughs. I'm sorry, with all due respect, I just don't see what this has to do with my job. Well, obviously, it pertains to what kind of example you're setting for your coworkers. Lisa sets a fine example. Thank you. And just because we don't all follow her example and sleep with Dave. <laughs> my, my friend. Oh, Dave. And oh, Matthew, what is it now? For God's sake, no one's smoking, okay? But, but nothing! You know what we need around here is an anti-whining ordinance. So just sip your sniffling little lip and all your skinny ass out of here! With nearly 100 episodes, it's argued that every next episode is even funnier.
funnier than the previous one. In every season, news radio was on the brink of cancellation. However, the sitcom never felt the need to tackle serious issues. You can say there is no controversial episode throughout its five seasons, which that alone makes it extremely rare to find in a sitcom. Now, just because news radio didn't bother to be controversial doesn't mean there aren't any emotional episodes. There's an episode where Dave and Lisa start a secret office affair that could not only ruin their careers, but their relationship. You're insane. Well, and you're lying. Well, you're insane. Yeah, and you're stringing Stuart along and you're a liar. Oh, that's it. Forget it. We are uh, through. Great. Good. 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 Terrific. There's also an episode that's dedicated to the actor Phil Hartman, which mourned the events of his tragic murder. Unfortunately, it, it was because of Phil's death that was the reason why news radio was canceled after five seasons. Listen, news radio is just as smart as Frasier, pose as funny as an ensemble cast as Friends, and is at times just as hilarious as Seinfeld. For whatever reason, this show went insanely unappreciated during its time on TV. Very few people today understand that news radio served as a catalyst for all eccentric, ultra-modern sitcoms. News radio is not only a great TV show, but a forgotten classic. I highly suggest you watch at least an episode. From all of us at News Radio, Victory or death!